Hello and welcome to another thrilling edition of Capital City Sports. I'm Nick Jones. The men's basketball team took on Longwood this past Saturday for their first game of the season and the students are really excited about Frank Martin starting his second season with the Gamecocks. We were at Colonial Life Arena for the game. Now here's to Ron Tolan with the highlight. Today's season opener ushered in coach Frank Martin's second year as the Gamecocks men's basketball coach. The team looked like a much improved squad from last season. The Gamecocks played stellar on defense, holding the Longwood Lancers to just 23% shooting on the game and came out with an 82-44 victory. Frank Martin and the Gamecocks were hoping to get off to a 1-0 start on the season as they took on the Longwood Lancers. In the first half, Villanova transfer Tyrone Johnson pushes the ball up court and finishes with a nice up and under layup to give the Gamecocks their first points of the season. The team cranked up its defensive pressure early. Brenton Williams gets the deflection and the Gamecocks are off and running as Michael Carrera beats Williams who finishes at the other end. The Lancers didn't have much cheer about on the day except for this Jelani Dublin drive, absorbing the contact and hanging in the air for the tough layup. Terry watched Cabrera miss the jumper, but look at him hustle back down the court and not give up on the play as he rejects Tristan Carey for the monster block. The Gamecocks display great ball movement throughout the game. Here the skip pass to Dwayne Notis who feeds Williams who nails the corner three. The senior came off the bench to score 14 points in the game. The Gamecocks took a 37-15 lead into the half. More of the same in the second half. Tyron Johnson with a silky cross over here at the top of the key and finishes with the soft, soft kiss off the glass. Johnson in on the action again as he beats Darius Thornwell here, who comes up the curl and drains the mid-range jumper. The highly touted freshman finished with 14 points on the day, while Johnson scored a game-high 18. Carrera puts an exclamation on the game as he drives his baseline and finishes with a one-handed slam here. The Gamecocks took this one from the Lancers, 82-44. Now the Gamecocks received great news before today's game as Villanova transfer Tyrone Johnson received clearance from the NCAA to play this season. And the guard didn't disappoint in his debut as he scored a game-high 18 points. Coach Frank Martin spoke about his performance and the win after the game. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. We've been hard on them in practice, uh, trying to get them ready to, to wear that uniform and represent our, our great university. And I was proud of the way they played today. You know, hats off to the NCAA. You know, they, they they take a lot of hits, and I think they made a decision that was the right decision that was to help a young man that obviously hadn't done anything wrong. But I was ecstatic for him, ecstatic for him. And I think once he hadn't played in two years, and once he kind of settled down and started feeling the game better, I think you saw how he could really, really help us. Hey, man, um, like I said, sitting out a year, uh, was the toughest thing, but having my teammates, having my family, having my coaches around, um, all got me to uh, do all positive things. Um, and my number was called uh, that day, and I was so excited. And today I came in with an attitude was just leading it all on court. The Gamecocks will look to build upon this opening victory and improve to 2-0 on the season as they take on the 25th ranked Baylor Bears this Tuesday at 3 o'clock in Waco, Texas as part of ESPN's 24-hour Hoop Marathon. From Colonial Life Arena, I'm Ryan Tolan, Capital City Sports. Saturday, the men's soccer team had senior night at Stone Stadium. The Gamecocks would take on Old Dominion for their last home game of the season. Will they take home the victory? Let's send it to Brett Williams with the action. Battle hardened. South Carolina men's soccer coach Mark Burson used this term to describe his 2013 squad, and he had good reason for doing so. The Gamecocks have fought through eight overtime matches, preserving five wins and picking up three points in the Conference USA standings within them. Their one overtime win, one of the biggest victories all season, as South Carolina topped the then 25th ranked New Mexico Lobos here at Stone Stadium on October 26th. A comeback win over number 10 UAB soon after set the Gamecocks up for a potential number two seed in the CUSA tournament, which they could clinch tonight. But it would take one more defeat of a top 25 opponent, this time number 21 Old Dominion, who had yet to drop a game on the road. Let's take it to the highlight. South Carolina had a great scoring chance early. This is Jeffrey Torta finding Asa Christ up the middle. Shot deflected, but he wins it back. And another great shot, but a big save there from Sean Stowe. The Monarchs had an early opportunity of their own. Good ball movement in front of the box sets up Ryan Condota, and his shot is just a bit high. Three minutes later, Old Dominion would cash in off the free kick and the foot of Ivan Militar. It's headed in by Tim Hopkinson. That's Hopkinson's first goal of the season, and it's 1-0 ODU. 
The teams would continue to trade chances in the first half. First up, South Carolina with this big cross, but Stowe comes out to make that jumping save. And then the Monarchs on the break. Mahabadou Kaba would have to come up and deflect away another shot from Hopkinson. The best chance in the first half for the Gamecocks came here. Jason Gaylord's pass intercepted by Cody Millard, and he found Asa Christ cutting up the middle. Another hard shot from Christ, another big save from Stowe. I'll remind you that a railroad runs behind Stone Stadium, and I'll let the horn tell the rest of this story. That's Militar again on the header assist, this time the goal by Cole Stringer. Unfortunately, the train didn't realize Old Dominion wasn't the home team. 2-0 ODU at the half. South Carolina stayed in the game thanks mainly to its defense. Off another corner kick, it was stopped in front and cleared by Kaba. The Monarchs would return. This is Nate Vogelsong on the long shot, but Marco Velez was there for the save. But ODU had its own defensive weapon in Sean Stowe. He was everywhere all night making that save on Cody Millard and then the return by Devin Lamoureux. We go down to the 81st minute. This foul sets up a big South Carolina free kick and Jeffrey Torta delivers his fifth goal of the season. Gamecocks cut the lead to one. You can see the hurried celebration between Torta and Eli Dent because they only had nine minutes and they would get one last shot. Steven Anderson on the steal. He sends it up to Asa Christ. A fantastic ball ahead to Eli Dent. And Dent would look to make a move. But this scuffle results in a foul called on Dent. Crowd doesn't like it, but that's your final. Two to one, Old Dominion. So no complete late game heroics tonight for South Carolina. But the Gamecocks certainly made it interesting in their final match at the graveyard for this season. Next is the Conference USA Tournament up in Charlotte, North Carolina where the Gamecocks will kick things off as the number four seed next Wednesday, November 13th. As for Old Dominion, the Monarchs will look to become kings of the conference, and depending on some other scores from tonight, may have the inside track to doing so as the number one seed. Will South Carolina and Old Dominion meet again? Catch us next week on SGTV for the latest. And for tonight, from Stone Stadium, I'm Brett Williams, Capital City Sports. Next, the Lady Gamecocks took on Charleston Southern for their first game of the season. The Lady Gamecocks are ranked 21st in the preseason poll and look to prove themselves as legitimate contenders in the NCAA. Now let's send it to Brian Principe with the action. The number 22 Lady Gamecocks look to start their season on their right foot tonight as they took on Charleston Southern. Last year the Gamecocks were knocked out of the first round of the postseason by Kansas, but look to flip the page and start anew. Here's Stan Smith with the analysis. The Lady Gamecocks basketball team takes the floor for the first game of the season against the Charleston Southern Buccaneers at Colonial Life Arena. The ladies are pumped about the start of a new season. Here's the opening tip. And we're underway. Kadeja Sessions makes a nice drive to the basket for her first points. Junior center Elam Evian posts up and gets her shot to fall. Ebium also shows her defense and blocks a shot right here. And Ebium blocks another. Ebium had a block party on the night, recording six rejections. After this air ball by Charleston Southern, Ashley Welch grabs the rebound and goes a full length of the court to get the layup. After this bad shot by the Buccaneers, Sessions does her best Connor Shaw impression and throws the ball full length of the court where Tiffany Mitchell would grab the pass and hit the layup. Tiffany Davis calls a play where she hits Mitchell with the pass and she drives to the hoop for the easy layup. CSU showed some life with this three-pointer right here. The Lady Gamecocks will answer right back with the dish out to Sessions for the tray and a foul and she would make the free throw. Elena Coates would join the block party with this rejection. Sessions continue to display great passing with this assist to Welch. Sessions had four assists on the night. Another block by Evian. What else is new? Tiffany Mitchell breaks some ankles on her way to the hole. She had 19 points. You guys want to see another Evian block? Well, here you go. Coates makes her presence felt down low with this lay-in. After a miss by Sessions, Coach would grab the board. Misses the first time, but the second time's a charm. T. 
Tina Roy hits a three-pointer, showing her sharp shooting ability. CSU had another nice play with this fast break and pull-up jumper by Taylor Vinson. Ebium does her best Kareem skyhook, and she hits it. She tallied 20 points on the night. The Lady Gamecocks dominated the night, winning 99 to 29. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Dan. Carolina looks to continue their winning ways Sunday afternoon against Louisiana Tech. For Capital City Sports, I'm Brian Principe. Well, that will be all for this week's episode of Capital City Sports. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at CCS on SGTV. If you would like to watch any of the other previous episodes of Capital City Sports, go to sgtv.sc.edu. From all of us at Capital City Sports, I'm Nick Jones. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.